Hey everyone, it's Sir Reb here. We're back with my Bedrock Survival Series. Today we're doing the Day 950 update. We only got a couple of small things, but uh, I should say one small thing and one kind of large thing that'll take up a lot of the time. So uh, let's jump on a copy of the realm and check this stuff out. Okay, here is a copy of the realm. You can see it's still survival. We're going to change it to creative and show you some cool stuff. Remember, this is a copy. The realm is up here. We're working on the copy. Okay, the first thing that I built is a vine farm right here. Um, the original design was a little bit different, but after doing a lot of testing, we changed it. So originally where these smooth stone lines are, that was going to be dug out and it would have water flowing to pick up the vines as you harvest them. And then there's a water line all along here. Comes up a bubble elevator into this. So I just left it there because we may use it for something in the future. But uh, after doing some testing, we just filled those in. And basically, you just go in here. Uh, you have to pick up the shears, obviously, because shears are the only thing that cut vines. Jump in the minecart, click the lever, and then just hold the button down, and it'll go here and shear off the, the vines. So I was originally going to make it all the way out to here, make it quite huge, uh, because if the vines would fall down into the collection system, then it would be just fine. But a lot of them were like landing on the tracks and stuff behind me and so forth. So that's why we decided to just make a smaller one. And we don't need a lot of vines anyway. And this produces quite a few vines. I mean, I like AFK it for 15 minutes and had like 10 stacks of vines, which is plenty. So that's our vine farm right there. Okay, then out here at the world wall, which is a 2,000 diameter circle. Uh, we had the two sides meet up, so the wall is half done. It met up somewhere in this area right in here. So you can kind of see the curvage. Right there. And then, since it comes so close to JoJo's base over here, I decided to build a gate that would go through the wall so we can get in and out as needed. So we'll look at the gate first. So all this right here with the two big trees, that's all my design. This is the gate right here and it's actually a functioning gate. Um, let's see here, I think. If we push this button here. Okay, so it pushes the gate up. It's a double piston extender. And then you can push this button right here. And it'll it'll push the thing back down. And it works on the opposite side of as well. So that's the gate right there. And then um, Jojo, he's a really cool decorator. So he put all this stuff on the ground and built a pathway that connects up with his pathways. So he originally started with something up there because I told him I was going to build a gate. I'm not sure what he was going to do, but I think he's going to probably take that down. So we got this path. And then... He's starting to work on some of the other stuff. He got this path extended out here, and he built a dock because he's going to build some kind of shipyard here. And then we're going to build another gate that goes through where the water is here. Uh, and it'll be big enough to, like, house a big, big giant ship. So 
eventually there'll be another gate here. So you can kind of see his design. He's a really creative uh, builder and decorator. And I see he's got some kind of circle here, so there's going to be something there. Um, he's got these two houses. I'm not sure with the wall if they're going to be there anymore, but he's working on this whole area. So that's basically the only update that we have. Um, this is the big area right here that we worked a lot on. Uh, a lot of this stuff is there, but it was changed a little bit, and the paths were added and stuff by JoJo. So that's uh, all we got for this 950 day update stick around for more updates in the future bye bye